Trump has been totally insane. And uh, we've had quite a number of problems. One of the trucks that was bringing up our stuff, a pickup truck, uh, a, a huge storm uh, just dropped a ton of rain on the truck and just ruined a lot of our stuff. Some of our cassettes, videos, some of my electronic equipment. It was one of these things where it was supposed to have been covered up and, and uh, some of the uh, plastic blew off. And, oh, it was just totally insane. So everything is still, in fact, in a state of insanity. But I wanted to get something to you regarding the instructor's program since you, you have shown an interest. Uh, I am refunding the $5 since the video is not complete. I hope to have actually been in here and done some shooting here in the new club for giving an example uh, regarding the training and everything else. Uh, but it just hasn't materialized yet. We're still trying to finalize the club. We just finished painting it. So, again, I apologize. And I'll try and uh, cover the points that I was going to on the videotape. Uh, now, instructing in martial arts is something that a lot of guys would like to do, but unfortunately do not get an opportunity to train with anyone uh, in a style that they like so that they you know, can learn to be an instructor. And in my travels throughout the world, I, I've had so many people ask me about teaching Wing Chun Do. Uh, then that, that is in every style you can imagine, from karate to kung fu, to aikido, to jujitsu, to judo, uh, boxing. Uh, my students are really, really quite a wide range because Wing Chun Do really appeals to the average individual in the Western world. It's an extremely fast, explosive style. It's mainly a hand style. It does have some kicks, but it's uh, a no-must, no-fuss inside fighting style, trapping and controlling the individual's energy is a key part of Wing Chun Do. Uh, we, we base Wing Chun Do on a number of factors that, for one, everything should be very efficient, practical, and simple. And by that, I simply mean that uh, every technique should be able to fit you without you having to change who you are or what you're capable of doing. Uh, you shouldn't have to spend half your life stretching in order to be able to do a technique. Uh, also, it needs to be efficient so that there is no filler, there's no wasted motion. Uh, everything has a purpose and it's based on efficiency and getting the job done. And of course, it must be practical, it must work. If it doesn't work, all that simplicity and efficiency is a waste of time. We're not into show and tell, we're not into impressing anybody, but we have found that just by the nature of Wing Chun Do, that it does tend to impress people as far as the beauty of the style itself. The principles, of course, are based on my time with Bruce Lee. Uh, he was an exceptionally creative individual, and he had tremendous insight in how to break down techniques and then rebuild them into much more dynamic and practical techniques. And so I carried that with me into Wing Chun Do and have uh, modified and upgraded and refined everything that I knew about Wing Chun and about fighting so that I could create a style which really is for the Western mentality. And uh, we're really looking for people who want to approach teaching as a profession. We're not looking for people who will want to do it as a hobby. We're not looking for people who are just sort of caught up in the glory of martial arts. We're looking for people who want, they want to get into a style they can really, really feel good about, excited about, and feel excited every time they teach it because of the uh, feedback they get from the students. Uh, but also a style they can make money in. And that's the big thing that we're really trying to focus on now is how to uh, create the necessary business education along with the uh, instructor's information. So this is where we're now making some major changes in our teaching program. But anyway, the, the initial instructor's program doesn't have the business uh, aspects of it because until a person becomes an instructor, he doesn't really need the business aspects. So let's now kind of focus on the uh, instructor's information by itself. Now, uh, a big argument that people have had with me over the years, uh, primarily instructors from other schools who take you know five, six, seven years to teach a black belt uh, to create an instructor, uh, the argument is that they don't see how I can produce quality instructors in a, in a rel relatively short period of time. And my argument is that one of the problems in conventional martial arts is the only reason it takes six, seven, eight years to produce a black belt and an instructor-level individual is 
the way that it's taught. That people are a heck of a lot smarter, mentally and physically, than they've been given credit in the martial arts. In other words, they could learn in one fifth the time, probably, uh, at least a quarter of the time. Because if you string out the information, uh, so in the last 10 years, it'll take 10 years. But if you string it out so in the last two years, it'll take two years. Certainly, the person has to bust his butt and train harder and put more energy into it. But so what? The idea in the, in the Western culture is to explore and expand your potential in all of your areas that you're interested in. If you're interested in many other things other than martial arts, then you want time to give to those things. You don't want to have to spend your life practicing martial arts uh, just because you want to teach. There's marriage, business, social. There's other things in life other than martial arts. However, martial arts can be such a fulfilling profession. It can be an exceptionally exciting profession because it gives you the independence and the financial financial security that you can have in almost any other profession. Um, uh, one of my instructors uh, in Canada makes over 100000 a year. Um, the one in Florida, as soon as he opened, he had, uh, he made... 20, I think $2,800 in his first month, just when he opened, I think he had 40 students. Different schools will have different potential, depending upon the area, uh, how you promote, you know, the money that uh, you invest in basically uh, advertising and, and setting up your club. All of these are going to have a factors, a factor in, you know, how you do. But at the same time, the students, once they come in, want something that is going to answer their needs. They want something that is going to be useful to them something that's fun to practice, something that they can get constant feedback, that it is something that is going to work for them, so that their confidence can build. Now, in order to teach Wing Chun Do, what I've decided is that since the majority of the people who would like to teach cannot come to Seattle and live, but they really sincerely want to learn and to ultimately teach, that what I've decided to do is to have uh, a camp, a one-week training camp, where we'll train for 10 hours a day for six days. And that is to take the special instructor's videos that I've developed and to go over carefully every technique, every concept, every principle, so that by the time the person leaves the camp, he is well-grounded, not only in the information, but he's had time to interact with other students plus instructors who will be there to help assist in the training. And so they'll have a real in-depth indoctrination to the system. Then they take the videos home and they begin to uh, train on their own. Now that they have a good understanding of them, they begin to train on their own. Uh, of course, they'll probably need a friend or, or somebody that they can do a lot of the techniques with or a number of friends, but that's fine. It's not a matter of teaching them. It's a matter of sharing with them some of the techniques that you want to practice with them uh, uh, because of their partic uh, particular qualities. Maybe somebody's fast, maybe another person's strong, maybe another person's tall, another person's short, maybe another person can do chi sao, the trapping hands real well, or sticking hands. But, you know, that's up to the individual who's going to, to you know, take the videos home. Also, there's roughly 1,100 plus pages of notes that accompany the video, so a person actually has reference information that he can go to, uh, and, uh, uh, constantly reinforce the correct information. Now, as a person, now, it, uh, and again, I underline, the person has the videos and the notes, and therefore, he can proceed as fast as he wants. If he wants to take two years to do this, he can take two years. If he wants to do it in six months, he can do it in six months. What I'm looking for is the end result, not the time. I'm, I'm trying to be honest with those people who are really motivated and who will really put out the time. Now, what they'll do is they'll train, and then what... Uh, uh, what they'll do over a period of their training is they will do a certain amount of testing on video. By that I mean they'll show me what they're doing, how they're doing, and I'll, I'll critique them. When they've tested a number of times, in other words, sent in videos and we've critiqued, and they, conf they are confident that they can actually pass the uh, certification test for uh, initially teaching, at that time the decision will be made to allow them to do so, and then they can, if it's okay, uh, or approved, uh, they can either come to Seattle and I will test them, or they can go to one of the existing at that time um, testing boards. Right now it's in Detroit, Michigan. And uh, uh, test in front of the uh, testing instructors. So 
the idea is, is to be able to give the person the freedom of his own motivation and his own learning curve, this how fast he learns. If he learns real fast, fantastic. If he learns slow, then he's going to have to have the patience. But one, one of these days, he is going to achieve the level that he's been reaching for. He is going to be able to teach. Now, one of the things I believe in very firmly is that you cannot develop a high level of skill in general training. In order to develop a high level of skill, you really need to teach. You cannot learn to teach, or you cannot teach, and even learn to teach without teaching. So it's like a, a guy who goes through college, he gets all this information. Just becoming, because he's come out of college doesn't really, really mean much, except he has a lot of information. Now what's he going to do with it? Now he can teach in turn, and he's just one big step ahead of his students. Uh, but over a period of time as he teaches, the information will take on much more depth, much more substance. It'll have much more meaning. And he'll be able to take that information, which was before just basic information, and then he'll be able to become creative. And that's kind of the way I approach the martial arts, is that I'm not looking for a high degree of skill in the individual. I'm looking for a uh, clear understanding of the concepts and principles that make the technique work, as well as being able to go through the technique and show that they physically understand and can do it. Now, I don't expect them to be highly skilled, but I do expect a certain basic skill in application, and that's all a teacher really uh, needs to have in order to teach. He doesn't have to be a grandmaster. All he has to do is have the basic skill to verbalize, to explain, to communicate the technique. It's up to the student to take that information and develop it into a skill. So therefore, my purpose in, in creating a instructor's program is to give the information and make sure the information is given in such a way as that it can be learned and that the indivi in individual does in fact take that information, learn it, and take it to a level in which he can actually apply it. Now once he starts teaching, he'll find that the technique will become more spontaneous, more explosive, more natural, but that's because he's going over it, he's going over it, he's going over it with students. So he's just one big step ahead of the students, just like the college professor. So it's important that when you think in terms of training, you don't think in terms of becoming a Bruce Lee. You think in terms of just getting down the information and knowing it well. That, to me, is enough to let you have temporary certification. Now, in the temporary certification, once a person is allowed to teach and open an actual training center, he can only teach the system itself. He cannot teach any special programs. He cannot teach special self-defense. He cannot teach women's programs or children programs. He is only to focus on uh, developing a, you know, a skill and a clear understanding and depth in his knowledge of Wing Chun Do, the basic Wing Chun Do in which makes up the system. Once he gets certified as a fully accredited instructor, then he can take some of the advanced courses to, in fact, teach women's courses, teach kids' courses, uh, do any specialty programs that will help him broaden his economic base. But I don't want him to clutter up his training by diversifying when he can't even really uh, initially, you know, have a solid understanding and, uh, and, and a depth in Wing Chun Do. So my emphasis is on the developing a basic skill in Wing Chun Do so the person can, in fact, become very efficient. And uh, the training camp, I just purchased 20 acres over on the Olympic Peninsula. By this summer, and we're looking about probably July, we will have our first instructor's training camp. And, and it'll probably be a small group. And uh, what I'm looking for is the individuals to be able to uh, set us a week aside and then come with a 100% uh, focus and motivation to do the best that they can, not only at the camp, but when they go home and uh, train on their own. And, but that is the basic overview of uh, the instructor's program. It's not complicated. It's something that uh, I thought about a long time. I decided that there are just too many people who want to teach who cannot come to Seattle and stay for you know a, a year or two. So therefore, this is the best way that I can approach it. Of course, if a person can come here to Seattle and live and train, uh, that's great. Uh, if he can train here at my training center, he can participate in classes. And, and in other words, it can be much more educational and, and develop a broader sense of skill sooner because of that experience. But uh, a lot of people cannot come here and stay. So therefore, they have to 
do it the best they can. And rather than to deprive them, I'm saying that, hey, I'll work with you if, in fact, you'll give me 100% and uh, recognize that this is truly something that you want to uh, commit yourself to. A person can make a lot of money in martial arts if he, in fact, looks at it as a business. And this is why we're really shifting gears into uh, a good business structure of uh, being able to work on the marketing and the promotions and the business uh, organizational structure relative to running uh, a club. We want all of this from A to Z prepared so that the instructor has no problem in being able to operate his club. He can just focus his attention on teaching and, and doing the best that he can. Also, we're developing programs that are constantly being expanded. Uh, again, children's programs, women's self-defense programs, uh, some specialty type training. Uh, so we want to, you know, give the instructor as much opportunity that he can to make uh, money. And of course, I'm sure the individual realizes that it is really his responsibility because there is no way other than giving him information that we can, you know, run his club for him. We can't run out and, and get his students in. We can't do all of the basic things that make a club work. He's going to have to do that. But by belonging to Wing Chun Do and being an instructor, he'll have the total support of the club. All the instructors will do whatever we can to enhance his reputation, to enhance his opening, to get as many students in as he can, to constantly upgrade him in information, to constantly give him uh, assist in developing broader levels of skill, higher levels of skill, and of course being able to share uh, in my reputation and, and, and uh, my background of 30-some years and, and that they're just an extension of my training, that, that helps them in their legitimacy, legitimacy, even though they've never taught before. So we're really uh, trying to shift gears into making Wing Chun Do one of the finest styles in the world, not just in, in America, but in the world. Right now, I've, I've got a club in Canada and in London, and uh, there's people training in Australia. Uh, I've got inquiries from a number of different countries, including St. Petersburg, Russia, and uh, they have my books over there and very, very interested in having me come over and do a seminar, and as soon as their ruble has any value, maybe I will. But, uh, of course, we're just looking right now to uh, get good instructors, instructors who will really be serious, who, who really want to uh, give themselves a, an exciting life a full life. They want to be able to give their family a, a, uh, a special uh, life because of the type of people that they'll meet, because of the fun that they'll have involving themselves in uh, an exciting uh, activity. And the martial arts is really a unique profession, and uh, I've just I've been in it thirty some years, and, and I, I just really always have to admit that. It's been a pleasurable, pleasurable experience, and I look forward to many more years. But at the same time, you, you have to be serious. This is not a game. It's something in which you have to put out 100% in order to develop that skill. And uh, I'm setting it up sort of like a, uh, a franchise, except that it's your, your club. You'll have to uh, buy certain things from the club, maybe timers or wooden dummies or a few things. But overall, other than getting your certificates from the club, uh, the majority of money that you make definitely is going to be yours. So the harder you work, the more money you're going to make. You will always be linked to the Wing Chun Do Central uh, Club, but that is just to enhance and, and ensure your own uh, success by the uh, constant uh, refinement in your education and the constant backing of those in Wing Chun Do who want to see you successful just as well as you want to see them successful. Um, now, if there are any questions regarding the, the uh, instructor's program, I'm sending this little outline and, and kind of reinforcing what I've just told you. Uh, if you're interested at all, again, the seminar is going to, uh, the training seminar is going to probably be in July, and it'll be for one week, and that's Sunday through Sunday. In other words, you come in on a Sunday and you leave on a Sunday. And the in-between days are just pure training. It's not a social visit. And it'll be in the country. It'll be at the, uh, the training center, training camp, where the uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful little spot. It's got a river going through it and a stream. Uh, it's going to be a little rustic at first because I'm still putting everything together. But so what? That's the nature of the game. That's the fun of it all. 
and the uh, this will be our first uh, training session at the training camp, so it's going to be very, very, very exciting. And I'm hoping to have some people come in from uh, England and, and wherever that will give a good, broad introduction to the people that are at the training camp. So anyway, oh, the money. I'm sure you want to know what the money is on the, on the thing there. I, I, I told, the, uh, you know, I've written it down. The, uh, there's a flat fee for becoming an instructor, the training, the right to be an instructor, uh, the, uh, the videos, the notes, everything involved, and the backing of the towel. It's $3,000, and it's payable when you start the camp. It's payable when you start the camp. And uh, you, uh, rather than I was going to charge more, but I realized there are going to be some costs in you coming to the camp. Uh, of course, uh, you will be totally self-sufficient at the camp. There will be no cost whatsoever. So you'll be all right there. But it's just getting to the camp. That's your responsibility. But uh, at this time, for this particular initial camp, it's going to be $3,000. And uh, we're, we're already anticipating that it's going to raise to 5000 in the, the, the next camp following this one. The first camp is going to be what I, I charge the instructors now. And uh, I'll give the courtesy of the people you know who are training. Now, again, this is just a basic fee that will cover training and all the rights and, and uh, the necessary, uh, again, videos and, and uh, paperwork. And uh, then... The only other fee will be when you ultimately are going to test for final test. There is usually a, a, a test fee if you go to Detroit and test. Uh, uh, often if I do the testing, I don't charge. But if, the, if you go before the board in Detroit for your final test uh, for temporary certification, uh, there is a, a small fee. Right now it's $100. Um, but at the same time, it's something that a person has to look at as an investment in their future. This is not just a hobby. This is not just fun. It's something that is going to very likely influence their whole life. And uh, I want a person to be really, really able to commit. And, and the, the money that they're going to have to put up is not that big of money nowadays, but it's big enough that they have to be real serious about it. And uh, we're, we're looking for people who are ready to commit. And we'll see this as a, uh, a business investment. Just like you'll invest to go to school. Uh, you'll pay for your education. And when you come out, what do you do? you got to go look for a job. But here you come out and you have something. It's just like a doctor. You, you can just open an office somewhere and get going. Because you've got what is necessary in order to start your program. You don't have to really rely on anybody else. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to with the people that we work with in uh, the training program. So... Anyway, if there are any questions, please get back to me right away, and I'll respond as quickly as possible. Uh, if you get into the Seattle area, and I'd love to, to have you visit. But uh, again, the camp will be, at this point in time, we're targeting it for the month of July, sometime in the month of July, probably around the middle to the latter part of July. So uh, anyway, I'm just kind of lost my thoughts here. I, I've just been working on 40 things today, and I wanted to get this tape out. So, Okay, uh, again, I'll send this paper and uh, cassette along uh, with your other things, and I hope to hear from you. Bye-bye.